Hi, and welcome to today's word of encouragement from your friends at Our Daily Bread. Our writer for today is Marvin Williams, and the devotional is Not Holding Grudges. During a promotional event in 2011, two 73-year-old former Canadian Football League players got into a fist fight on stage. They had a beef, a grudge or feud, dating back to a controversial championship football game in 1963. After one man knocked the other off the stage, the crowd called out to him to let it go. They were telling him to squash the beef. The Bible contains many examples of people beefing. In Genesis chapter 4, Cain held a grudge against his brother Abel because God accepted Abel's offering over his. This grudge was so severe that it eventually led to murder as Cain attacked his brother and killed him. Then in chapter 27, Esau held a grudge against Jacob because Jacob stole the birthright that was rightfully his. This grudge was so intense that it caused Jacob to run for his life in fear. Not only does the Bible give us several examples of people who held grudges, but it also instructs us on how to squash the beef, how to seek forgiveness and reconciliation. God calls us to love others, pray for and forgive those who insult and injure us, live peaceably with all people, leave revenge to God, and overcome evil with good. By His power, may we squash the beef today. It's time for today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading from Romans chapter 12, verses 12 through 21. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Let's pray. Jesus, in your great mercy, you have forgiven us, the unforgivable, and in so doing, you've shown us how to forgive others. May our lives be marked by grace and forgiveness that comes only from you. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for listening. My name is Wes Ward, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.